Stop number three on the Cash Dex Cup Series for Season 5 brings us to Las Vegas for the running of the Dan Weldon 400 at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Race, of course, in honor of befallen IndyCar racer Dan Weldon, defending Indy 500 champion. And then, so, yeah. Starting in the, on the pole for the race is Dougie Shears, Super Shears. Alongside of him is Alex Tanker in the 23. Row 2 has Connor Breton in the 18 and the 10 of Charles Jackson, row 3. Dalton Day in the 17 and Ann Batson in the 3 car. Row 4, Jeremy Doobie in the 26 and Jack Richards in the 29. Row 5, Taylor Acosta in the 21 and the 31 of Christopher Martin, our winner at Rockingham. Then Mike Becker and Aaron Williams in row six. Row seven, Rachel Williams and Jasmine Acosta. And row eight, Colin Cropley and Michael Dawson. Field coming down for the green flag here, or green fag as Larry McReynolds calls it. <laughs> and here we go, Viva Las Vegas, we're going racing. And what a start by Dougie Shears. He gets a great start on the rest of the field. You usually see some trouble spots here at the Vegas. Mainly probably out of turn two. Whoa, I don't know. Whoa, that was close right there coming out of turn number four. They were almost four wide getting in, coming out. Look at this whole strewn of cars coming out of the second turn there. As Colin Croppy makes it three wide on Christopher Martin and Jack Richards. Dougie Shear still leads the race. He's led the first two laps of the event. But, I'll tell you what, these guys and gals are trying their best not to wreck. So they come down in the third turn now. Cropley makes it, tries to make a move on the inside of Ann Batson in the three car. Whoa, my, look at this on the turn number four. And here we go. Dalton Day is spun. Kathy Cantara hits him. Here we go. It's the big one. Chris Martin's got some damage on his car. Trent Dunham all bent up. Josh Osborne looks like he was in it. Jasmine Acosta's got some damage on her machine. Ooh, Jack Richards, he's... Boy, Jeremy Doobie. Connor Brayton might have got some damage on his car. Ja uh, Ryan Cooper in the 33. Boy, Mike Becker, he's coming in, coming in the pits. That's not good. Dougie Shears won the race back to the line with Taylor Acosta running second. Let's look again as to what happened. So it happened right there. They were, well, they were. Happened right in that mix there where Colin Cropley and Ann Batson was. And there was right about there, and that was where, wait, look at that, they were almost five wide, or, I don't, good lord, if Colin Cropley and Russ, and Ryan Acosta in that four car, if they had squeezed right in, they would have been almost six wide. Whew, that would have been a, well, as if four wide is, a, is, a, is not enough of a certain wreck, and Bassett, she hits Jeremy Doobie, and it sends... And sideways. Now, Jeremy Doobie and Dalton Day spins right about there. 
And now watch Dalton. He's going to get hit right there by Kathy Kintar in the 22. Bam! Everybody else seems to get through right there. A-OK. -okay. And then, yeah, right there, Trent Dunham. He's going to nail Kathy Kintara right there in the 22. Jeremy Doobie's got a little bit of damage to his machine. Well, I saw Jasmine Acosta. She got um, turned as well. Let's go on board with Dalton Day as to what happened in the 17. Let's take a ride with him. on his run. Right now, Dougie Shears has the lead. here. Super Shears, I should say. Leading here in Las Vegas as we'll go great this time by. And here we go. We're about the green flag racing here at Las Vegas. There's a view from the copter cam. Dougie Shears gets another fine start. Taylor Acosta, car 21, runs in second position as Ford leads, Ford second, third. Colin Cropley makes a move to the inside from the third spot on T Rachel Williams, and now he makes a move on Taylor Acosta for second, and Colin has it for the moment. But here comes Ryan Acosta, car four. Vegas is one of Cropley's favorite tracks. He won here in the Sunoco Cup Series in Season 2, and a lot of people thought that was a flash in a pan, a fluke, whichever. But nonetheless, the win does count for Collins, so... Now all he's got to do is try to catch Dougie Shears in the 99. And Dougie Shears has led from... Has led the most laps thus far, even though we are now 10 of 27 laps into the... Or 9 of 27 laps into the race now, I should say. There's a good battle on the track. Cropley and Acosta going at it. So we watch Ryan Acosta, car four, dive to the inside. He's going to take number two position away from Colin Cropley as they come out of the turn number one. Out and Taylor Acosta's got the little same out there as she, as she tries to follow her brother, Ryan. And oh, Colin may make a crossover move right there on Ryan Acosta. Says, well, okay, will you pass me? I'm going to pass you back. <laughs> Three car fight for the number two position. And now Taylor Acosta decides she's going to go with Colin. Go with whoever's fast on the low side of the track. So Cropley was in a second. Acosta runs third. And Ryan Acosta fourth. Sasha Dawson under a little heat now from the 23 of Alex Tanker and the 3 of Ann Batson. And I'm making a little recovery after going sideways in that first caution flag. And look at three wide in the turn number one. And we're under caution. Ooh, Ann Batson and Alex Tanker leaning on each other just a little bit. Ooh. Oh, Trent Dunham again 
is the cause of this crash. And I saw Mike Doobie in the pits as well in the 15. Uh-huh. When I say Dunham didn't even get his eyes shut uh, so much, I should, I should say, I don't know. Uh, see, I think this may be where the culprit of the crash happened. Aaron Williams, he's on the outside of the 28 of Keith Batson. Keith didn't get in a crash, amazingly enough. But now watch Aaron. He goes up the track. He stays up the track. He hits the wall. Hits Mike Doobie. Josh Osborne, he gets hit. Aaron Williams, he gets spun. Oh! Trent Dunham, hard crash. Mike Doobie on his roof. And Christopher Martin, our winner at Rockingham, he's riding a four-wheeled tornado. Dalton Day barely avoids the crash. Well, this is going to make for several good on-board views right here. Let's go first on board with Trent Dun or First, let's go on board actually with Aaron Williams and see what happened. On board with Aaron Williams. Now from the inside of Mike Doobie's car. This, I think you have to. I think you're gonna have to hang on on this one, buddy. There, hang, hold on your seatbelts, everybody. Let's go on board with Mike Doobie. Mike Doobie gets a perfect view from the, of the concrete. Now from Trent Dunham's car. Let's go on board with him in car 24. He's far back in this crash. He sees it all happening right there. Driving down the first stretch and oh crap. He just center punches Mike Doobie. As we looked on board from Dougie Shears' view. And we'll be back under green this time by here at Las Vegas. Dougie Shears out in front, car 99. He has the lead. Colin Cropley in second. As this time by, we'll have nine laps to go here at Las Vegas. Taylor Acosta's third, Ryan Acosta fourth, Sasha Dawson fifth, and here we go. Well, Dougie Shears got an excellent start. That battle for second is shaping up right now, right, right out of the gate. Sasha Dawson, she's going to make a three wide there. She won last season at Kansas, a track similar to this. And here comes Ryan Acosta, car number four. Whoop, we lost that battle right there. And Acosta dives inside of Cropley, and let's see what happens in the turn number one and two. Look at this, they are getting to get very close to each other. And Sasha is now making a go for that pink number 68. And she dives inside of Ryan Acosta. Let's see what happens right there. 
Acosta in the Chevrolet, Sasha in the Ford. And Sasha has second. She's got to help from Alex Tanker in the 23. We may see one, two, three of blue. We, see, we may see one, two, three blue ovals in the top three. If they can get by the Chevy of Ryan Acosta. Meanwhile, Dougie Shears has checked out. He is leading them all here. But Sasha may have something up her sleeve. But Taylor Acosta, now she dies in the inside. Card 21. Going for second now. They were almost four wide coming out of turn two. And now Acosta tries for second position. Now look at Dan Batson in the three. Alexander Jones in the 20. And you got, look at that, three females right there with right there with each other. Make that four now with Rachel Williams in the 27. Ooh. -hoo. Batson way up high. And the pace car's on the truck again. Let's see what caused the yellow. Ooh, Ryan Cooper and Ray Castor in the 94. About the same spot where we saw Aaron Williams and Mike Doobie get together. Oh, there's more cars than that. And Cooper was way behind this mix. Yeah, I think it happened right there with Mike, with Ray Castor and Adrian Becker. Yeah, and it looked like, looked like right there, um, Becker just turned right in front of Castor. Russ Batson, he gets into it. Look, look at Keith. He has to do some heads up driving. So did Mike Becker. And yeah, Ryan Cooper, he just gets nailed. He just nails them all right there. Well, let's jump on board with Adrian Becker in the two. You heard Adrian Becker stall the car, and she finally gets it. Re she finally gets it started again. On board now. Let's go on board now with Ryan Cooper in the 33 car. A Skull Bandit Chevrolet. Now, he this was he was a lot like Trent Dunham in the second caution. He was right well behind this crash. And then he sees the whole thing happen. And once again, driving down the front stretch and oh crap. And Mike and Ryan Cooper's motor was done right at the hit of the car. And you get a good view from on board Dougie Shears' machine. We might get this race restarted again. As Dougie Shears has to lead with Taylor Acosta second and Batson third. Alexander Jones fourth, Sasha Dawson in fifth, and Rachel Williams in sixth. Dougie Shears being chased by five females. <laughs> Let's see if we get this race back going again. The pace car's lights are off, so we are going to have a three-lap shootout here at Vegas. Who is it going to be? Remember, caution comes out at this point of the race. The race will be over. So, we'll see who it is in the Dan Weldon 400 here in Las Vegas. Dougie Shears out in front. Taylor Acosta is in second. Ann Batson, Alexander Jones, Sasha Dawson, Rachel Williams, Ryan Acosta. Who will it be here at Las Vegas? Green flag is out. Three laps to go.
Taylor Acosta got a good start, though. She's right there behind Dougie Shears, but Shears once again got another good start. Let's see what happens, though. Through the third and fourth turns now. Acosta closing right in. She wants to join her brothers Ryan and Justin and John, as well as her other sister Jasmine, as the Acosta team family members who's won in this series. All four of them have. This time by will be the white flag. Taylor Acosta, I don't think may have anything for Dougie Shears. He's been the dominant car here today. Off of corner number four, they come. The white flag about the wave. One lap remaining for Dougie Shears. Let's see what happens here on the final lap. As they come into turn number one, Dougie Shears sticks that car down on the bottom of the racetrack. Rachel, er, excuse me, Taylor Acosta still about maybe a couple, three car lengths back. And I don't think she's got anything left for Dougie Shears. So they come down to the third and four turns. Taylor gives it one last ditch effort as they come out of the third and four turns. But it's not going to be enough as the Dan Weldon 400 belongs to Super Shears. Dougie Shears wins at Las Vegas. His first ever in this series in a Ford. Big victory for Dougie Shears as he takes home the victory here today. Here's the average speed of the race, 98.65 miles an hour. No thanks to the yellow flags. Dougie Shears wins the race. Second, Taylor Acosta. Third, Alexander Jones. Fourth, Ryan Acosta. Fifth, Ann Batson. Sixth, Rachel Williams. Seventh, Dylan Poteet. Colin Cropley finishes 8th, ninth is Sasha Dawson, and Seth Cole finishes in 10th position in 11th. Alex Tanker, Zohar Munhan, 14th, 15th, 13th, just, Zohar Munhan is 12th actually, Justin Acosta, 13th, then Lisa Shears and Alexander Dawson, the top 15th, then running out top 20 is Connor Breton, Keith Batson, Mike Becker, Jasmine Acosta, and Russ Batson, and there's the rest of the finishing order. <clears throat> right here. Several guys retired, uh, several guys out of the race because of the attrition. The attrition list, though, Ryan Cooper with a crash. Ryan Cooper and Dalton Day both with crashes. Uh, Adrian Becker had a header problem. That's why her car quit. Ray Castor with a crash. So is Charles Jackson also with a crash. Chris Martin with a crash. And so is Josh, so is Trent Dunham, Mike Doobie, Jack Richards, Kathy Kantara, and Mike Dawson also all with crashes. Uh, Aaron Williams with a piston problem. From Josh Osborne had a broken valve. And just right, John, John Acosta with a radiator problem on his machine. So. But the winner here at Las Vegas, Super Shears, Dougie Shears, wins today at Las Vegas and here's the points as they are right now after three races Taylor Acosta has the points lead Seth Cole by four points behind Dougie Shears is in third Lisa Shears his sister in fourth Justin Acosta Sasha Dawson Dylan Pote then Ryan Acosta Alexander Jones and Ann Batts in the top ten after um, <coughs> three events there you see Chris Martin down in 20th position, the winner at Rockingham. And Mike Doobie down in the 36th position here for this season. But still, 33 races left to go before the end of the season. So a whole lot can happen here. Next race on the tour, Atlanta Motor Speedway. Hot Atlanta for the Cracker Barrel 5 for running of the Bass Pro Shops 500.